In this video, I'll show you how to find and get image and decal IDs. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. So the first thing you need to do is come onto the Roblox website, just like so. Then once you're on the website, you need to go to this top bar here, the top navigation bar, and go and tap on create. Now, the first time you go and tap on create, if you haven't tapped it before, you may go and get this big banner, and there's gonna be a button saying start creating, and below that, there's gonna be an option for uh, manage my experiences, and you need to tap on manage my experiences, and then you'll be taken to the develop or create page. The next thing you need to do is go and tap on create a marketplace, just like so, and this is gonna go and take you to sort of like a creator Roblox page. This is a relatively new feature, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So what you need to do is come to this sort of second navigation bar here and you need to go and tap on images. Now you can go and look at all these different images. If we come down here, as you can see, there's 34 pages of them and you can also go and search for images as well. Um, so I'm just going to go and find something which looks quite cool. And once you've seen the image or potential decal you want to get the idea of, what you need to do is go and tap on it just like so. Then what you need to do is go to the top URL bar of your browser and what you need to do is go and look for the set of numbers after asset. So it's going to say asset slash, and then there'll be these numbers here. So what you need to do is go and highlight it just like so, then let go, and that's it, guys. You do not want to include the slashes. Then you can right click on it just like so and go and press copy. Now, what I want to go and show you to do is how you can go and then use this in Roblox Studio. So let's go and open up Roblox Studio just like so, and we'll go and open up a game, example game, for example. You can do this in an existing game or go and create a new one if you like. I I just did this in a, an existing one just to keep things simple. So what you need to firstly do is go and add something to go and put the image on. So in this case, I'm gonna go and add a part as it's called in Roblox Studio, which is basically sort of a block. So what you need to do is come over to the right hand side to Explorer and go and look for Workplace and go and open up Workspace by clicking on the downwards arrow on the left hand side. Then on the right hand side of the text, you've got this plus button, so tap on that. And then you've got all these different options and you can go and search for things. Part is actually at the top of frequently used, but you can just go and search part as well. So go and tap on part just like that, and it's gonna go and drop it down here. And then once you go and tap on part, it's gonna go and drop this object where it looks something like this here. Oh, let me just angle out of it. This is it here. So what you want to do is go and move it around and you to make sure it's highlighted by tapping on it. Then what you can do is go to the top left and you can click on scale. And this means we can go and make it a bit bigger by holding onto the colors. So the green is gonna make it higher and the blue is gonna just go and make it wider and the reds do the same as well. So now I'm just gonna go and change my angle a bit just so I, so I can go and show you what I'm about to do. Then what you want to do is just make sure select is back on and then come over to the right hand side in the Explorer. And what you need to do is go and click on the plus button on part. And then you can go and type in decal just like so. And here is decal, we can go and tap on it. Then once you select the decal, when you go and move your cursor over the part or the block, you go and get the sort of yellow selector on each side. And um, what you need to do is go and choose the side where you want the image to be. Um, so I want it to be on this front here, just like that. And when you go and select it, it's then gonna stop changing once you've clicked, as you can see, it's now stuck there. Then all you need to do is come over to the right hand side once again, come below the Explorer um, and make sure you've clicked on decal, just like so, so you can see the properties. And then where it says texture, go and click, and it's gonna go and open up the URL box. Then all you need to do is go and paste in uh, the asset ID we just copied. So paste it in, hit enter. And then as you can see, we then go and get that image, which we go and we copy the ID of and found um, back from Roblox. It's now in Roblox Studio and that's literally it. And as you can see, it's then just gonna sit there. If you guys found this guide useful, please go down below and leave me a like. Peace.